Good evening. Nice to be here. Now, how do you define passion? For a very long time, I thought that passion is like being in love. It's like the first thing you think in the middle of the night when you wake up, when your heart beats faster and life has more meaning. I consider myself an ordinary person, you know? Real passions, they just don't find me. I have a lot of hobbies and I do them all on the surface, never diving very deep. And this is how I started karting. A couple of years ago, my friends invited me to join to build up a karting team. All we wanted were cool clothes, killer selfies, and maybe participate in Helsinki Hobby League. Well, next thing I know, we are in a factory, shopping for spare parts in Italy, and we behave like kids in a toy store. And next thing we do, we go to the nearby track in Migliaro, and we try to build our carts. I must say, we were complete amateurs. We came to the track, you know, with the books, and we watched YouTube videos of how to build a cart. Everyone, every single one in that pit, they were laughing at us. But we sort of laughed back, arrogantly, watching all those middle-aged men who spend all of their free time just building tiny cars. Well, it happened so that a Finnish pro driver and his mechanic were at the track with us at the same time, and I think out of pity, they helped us a lot in the beginning. You know how really big ideas sometimes are born on restaurant napkins, right? So those guys observed me struggling and struggling, took me to the nearby cafe and said, Anna, this is how you drive. Here, I framed that napkin to memorize the glorious moment of when I got my driving line. But it was only the start. Next thing I know, I'm going and I'm driving to Lappenranta, to the Finnish professional championship, to the first race of the season, to help my friend with the mechanical things. Do you know what I feel? I'm in love with motorsports, of course! Ever since Leo Kinnunen, the first Finn, everyone in the world knows Finnish Formula One drivers, right? We follow their posh lifestyle, champagne on yachts, private jets, they meet celebrities, small and big. And I imagine myself, maybe, if not like a great driver or mechanic, I think maybe I'm gonna be a pit girl one day, because why not? And I'm just in love with this image. My passion found me, I thought. Oh my God, I wasted so many years, but this is gonna be my life from now on. And there, there I arrived to La Penranta, Kimi circuit. <laughs> and it looks like this. It is literally in the middle of the forest. It's a rusty gate, no security. There is a metal junk, a pile of tires, and it's Finland, okay? No one looks me in the eye, not even talking to me. And this is not what I imagined for myself. There was something to process. And I did process it. In fact, I followed Finnish championship for the whole summer that year. And I learned a lot about karting. I learned that karting is 80% about tuning and only 10%, 20% about driving. Because even if you're a very good driver, it is always a combination. It is you and the kart. So the number of variables that have to work out, it is so insanely big that it requires a very impressive mechanical talent. Karting is also a hole in the pocket. No matter how much you spend, you keep on spending more. And in a professional league, just in Finland, you easily end up in five-digit numbers. But the energy, the energy of those people, it is electric. I got completely hooked. Even though, you know, some of those guys might not have impressive university degrees. They might be not career ambitious. They're all united with this one passion for motorsport. They live in this world with its own secret language. Some mechanics are so good, they can tell what is wrong with an engine just by the sound of it on a certain turn of the track. I was mesmerized by their professionalism. In fact, I became passionate about all those people. Well, fair to say, you know, this all didn't come from nowhere. There is something about driving that I truly love, be it the sound of an engine, 
or this feeling of control over the mechanism, or the state of active meditation, when it is you, car, the road, and maybe the next turn. So when everyone around me is excited about autonomous driving, I'm not. In fact, I'm scared because I know how much I will lose. Well, my friends who know me, they will say I'm a sad kid. But I tried and tried and tried to understand why in the forest, on a karting track, why this moment made me so honestly happy. Well, through karting I understood that passion is very, very hard work. And it's all about persistence. But it is not necessarily about just one activity. It is rather those small moments that make you stay in the moment and enjoy oneself at fullest, feel more alive and connected to others. So knowing that now, I wish every single one of you today find those moments that work for you in this way and be passionate about life. Thank you.